can see, it's not okay, talking about him damn chance. as the light. It's talking about E equals MC squared, where E, God, Fucking split bitch. itself into M and C. See? Mass, which is Shit. a denser form of light, and C, which is the lighter form or lesser Fucking light bitch. that the Bible talks about uh, when it says the lesser light was created. So God saw the light. Move, you good. fucking bitch. The light became the creation, physical creation, and God divided the light from the darkness. See those? That's what I was trying to tell you. You got the pocket. You got this with the badge. You got the pocket. Fucking bitch. Space. He divided the light, which is the light fucking of all bitch. the planets, the suns, and everything from that space. So he created the separation inside of himself, and only he knows the laws and their totality and completeness to be able to do that with his being and become all that is in perfection. Okay? Here's another passage. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. You notice that these passages are breaking down from the big picture and getting closer and closer to home, where we are on the earth. It's still the one truth of the pocket, the space, uh, God injecting the substance into it, becoming condensing down into the stars. And we call these places are formed as magnetic fields. This was revealed in Glenda Green's book, as uh, Jesus said, the magnetic field is formed first when he was addressing the science part. And that's correct. The magnetic field is formed, and it draws all the particles and becomes the sun, which then is blown out to become the planets. Everything is very orderly and very logically done. But uh, the religious would call that the will of God. We call a magnetic field the will of God, but scientists would call it a magnetic field. So it's a matter of syntax. It depends on the person's point of view to how they want to talk about it. Uh, and God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heavens. See, he's getting even more clear as to, to defining this, to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and seasons for days. You and now we're sitting bitch. on top of the planet. We've Fucking gone from the bitch. big picture, down we're standing on top of the planet. Fucking bitch. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heavens, to give light upon the earth, and it was so. Now understand that these things happened over duration of time. Uh, oh, hell no, no don't. Don't even think about trying to distract me from asking up that damn bitch. Stupid the bitch. When you're in his presence, even what I had happened to me at Doc Weller Beach one morning when I got a visit. So you're, you're, you're still going to lose that bitch, you stupid so bitch. Fast, it'll make your head spin. That's how powerful he really is. You're just not used to seeing it. But when you get to see it, so you, know, you get to see dick. him demonstrate his abilities, um, you try not God. to be scared. In fact, he won't Suck do it in front dick. of you until you're ready to accept Fucking it. Fucking bitch. Uh, but if you're going to get scared, he's not going to bother with it. He's not there to man. frighten you. He's you there to help you bitch. to understand what really he is about. Uh, what, what, bitch. what he is even beyond the term she. You know, I don't like using the term it because it sounds so impersonal. And, said, and God made uh, two great lights, the greater light uh, to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the Fucking stars bitch. also. That's what I was trying to tell you. E equals MC squared. M and C, mass and light. M is a denser form of light. C is a lighter form of the light. All Fucking of them came bitch. out of E, which is the pure white light you'll see when you go into it in death. If you say so, um, a, now you can keep reading this throughout bitch. the Bible. In fact, I would encourage you. Why don't you type, go into uh, your, uh, if you got a computer, go into the Bible and type in the word light. And take your time, and don't look for the word lighted or lighting or whatever, just look for the word light. And then take a Fucking moment bitch. to study that passage and think about what I've taught you in this uh, teaching. See if you can see if the writer knew what I knew when he wrote that particular Fucking line. bitch. Because many of these guys that wrote this stuff down Shit. didn't know because they couldn't have written what they did unless they had had what we call a near-death experience. I don't call them near-death anything. Bitch. You leave your body. Your body's just a vehicle. It's an you left on idle Fucking while you leave bitch. and then come back into it, or it can be messed up to Fucking where bitch. it's shut down and you're stuck leaving it because once the magnetic field of the body is shut down, there's nothing to hold you in as a soul. You're attracted to your body because of that magnetic field that is the design bitch. to keep you held into your body. Once that's done, baby, you you break loose. <clears throat> that's all these experiences you're hear, hearing about. And it depends on what you're focused on when you're up to where it's shut down and you're stuck 
we're leaving it because once the magnetic field of the body is shut down, there's nothing to hold you in as a soul. You're attracted to your body because of that magnetic field that is de de designed to keep you held into your body. Once that's done, baby, you're, you break loose. <clears throat> that's all these experiences you're hear hearing about. And it depends on what you're focused on when you die, by the way, to what you're going to see. So be careful. Control your mind when you step out of your body. Don't just be willy-nilly going, oh, what is happening to me? Where am I? And then you're thinking every thought, and then of course the minute you start thinking it, it starts happening. You're what here, you there, and everywhere. You know, that's what Betty Eby was going through. Whatever you're drawn to, that's where you're going to go. You have free will. God's not going to control you. If you're out of control and you don't know where you're going, then call upon the light and say, help, I'm lost, I need some help. And God will send other beings to help you. They may be what we call angels. They may be ascended masters, guides. Other beings will show up and say, whoa, slow down. Ascended masters? You know, what the you're, fuck? You're dead, but you're not dead. See, death is only to the body. See, It's not to um, the real you. You're eternal because you're made out of the substance of God's being, which is eternal. The fuck do you mean? These bodies are not real life because they're animated life forms masters, that are temporary. Bitch. So the Lord regards them as uh, not Fucking real bitch. life. That which is of the light is real life. When you're in your body, uh, keep in mind that every act you do is an eternal act in the spirit. And I'm going to talk about that Boom. later on. In <laughs> video, <laughs> <when> I, <talk laughs> <about> <laughs> I just donkey Kong your and asshole. How that's regarded Fucking bitch. in the ethereal realm of the light. Uh, just understand that uh, this stuff that you, some of you get focused on. You fucking uh, bitch. With heaven and hell and the resurrection um, applies to the eschatology of man, the story and the theology of man. It does Fucking not apply bitch. to every other inhabitable planet uh, in the creation. Everyone is under different sets of judgments or guidance by the light. This is our particular deal. Uh, the universe normally works on the basis of reincarnation. I discovered this planet's under a different set of judgments as a result. And so certain uh, actions have been taken by the light to give you safe passage home. That's what Jesus, all Jesus was doing, is give you safe passage home. The story that took place before that is captured in snippets, I would call them, in the Koran and in the Bible and in the Jewish books. And you can sort of piece together what went on uh, if you know what the real story was. Fucking and I'll bitch. talk about that later when I talk about the whole Fucking thing bitch. about Lucifer and the devil and... You know, because I asked the light about this stuff, and, you know, it's really simple. It's not hard to understand. Um, there's stuff in the Bible that you just can't take fully at face value because there's a whole lot of that preceded those passages that were written. And until you know more, uh, you're going to have trouble accepting uh, just what little Fucking is bitch. there. No, no, there's a lot more to know. In fact, the Hall of Records that Edgar Casey talked about exists. When I was in Our Lord's Heaven, uh, it was not far from where Fucking my bitch. is. You just go around this embankment where the crystal sea is, and you can walk along the ocean where life forms are, are saved too, well, even from our world. Dolphins, whales, whatever. Uh, every fish has a soul in it. God doesn't throw anything away. And, uh, and there's the crystal city, uh, but there's also the hall of records. And that's an amazing place to see. You see people floating around and levitating in their spirit. You can go to a book and touch it, and have the knowledge pour into you. But if you don't like that approach, you can just pick it up and read it and enjoy it if that's what you want to do. Whatever you want to do, uh, it's there for, uh, it's like the memory of God in a personified form that is, uh, you, know, you know, kind of personal, close, you know, like you love when you read a book. You like to sit down and cuddle up next to a book. The light supplies all of that. Whatever you want, the light gives you. So, um, uh, if you want to learn more, <laughs> you go to the Lord's Heaven, do what Casey did. Go to the Hall of Records. Go visit it. Um, it's very tall, actually. It's many stories tall. That's why people are floating around, uh, grabbing spit, books and stuff spit, and reading. Spit, um, spit. Uh, I would tend to think everything would be captured there, including computer technology. So, those of you who love computers, it'll be there, too. But you'll probably see the most sophisticated computers made out of light that you've ever seen in your life. And I'm sure for those who are engineered, you'll be just be delighted. You'll be in seventh heaven 
when you get to see this because today's computers are such crap a lot of the times with the locking up they do, the constant updates, the clearing of this, the doing of that. Man, every time I'm on my computer, I'm always trying to repair something from the software Definitely side of bitch. it because it's amazing these machines even talk to each other <laughs> with all the languaging that's written. I'm sure engineers feel the same frustration. So I would think that um, from... Uh, uh, just as a commentary, you Fucking know, as a guess on my part, I would think that it's there. Anything you want is going to be there. So, so anyway, thank you. Um, the title of this was the location of Fucking the bitch. universe. I wanted to mix some of our science together with concentration mainly on the Christian Bible um, because I have a lot of respect for the Bible. It's not complete. Neither is the Quran, the Book of Mormon, um, the Talmud. The Zohar, um, the Zephyr Yitzhak, which is the Book of Formation, which is interesting when you can... I can put my hand over the Zephyr Yitzhak and the energy I feel coming from it reveals to me what it is. And uh, this I is keep Christian that woo. knowledge to myself. Um, but all of these Fucking books, bitch. Uh, they're sort of bits and pieces of the ultimate truth. And the ultimate truth, when you finally know it, really is really simple. Um, but you have to approach it from a perspective. Of love. So anyway, thank you for joining me with this teaching on uh, the channel Ooh, uh, I've bitch. titled Beyond Life. There is the light. Um, visit me anytime you want. I'll be posting teachings from time to time. I'm Kevin Montague and thanking you for this time together. Fucking bitch. I'm about to fuck your whole fucking bitch. Suck my dick, bitch. Suck my dick, bitch.
Toast, asshole. Just as I fuck up the moving the way it is. Suck my dick, fucking bitch. Bitch, 
suck my dick. Damn, I can't believe that I did that stupid shit. Man, I fucked up. Fuck. Son of a bitch. Son of a fucking bitch. Fucking bitch. Fucking bitch. You fucking bitch. Oh, that fucking pissed me. Suck my dick, bitch. Suck my dick, bitch. Bitch, suck my dick, bitch. Suck my dick, bitch. Fucking bitch. Suck my dick, bitch. Suck 
suck my dick, bitch. Fucking bitch. Fucking bitch. It's a one in a million chance it came along. Fuck you. Deep love Fucking bitch. Feel a wonderful thing. Come and not so strong. Time for moving. Now be a dumb ass and try to save your career. I'm gonna ask you out like you've never been asked out before. Fucking bitch. Fucking bitch. Fucking bitch. Ooh, now you can't catch him, dumbass. Ha, 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 dumbass. Suck my dick, bitch. You fucking piece of shit, bitch, motherfucker. Suck my dick, fucking bitch. Fucking bitch. Fucking bitch. Early teachings, like what this early church looked like. What, like what did what did Christianity look like for the first couple hundred years after Jesus' death? So through like Fucking extensive bitch. research and study about this topic, it became very apparent to me that the early church was very different, drastically different than the church that we have today. And so that was somewhat comforting to me because I looked around at all the churches, all the Christians, all the teachings, the pastor, all the stuff that was being said in today, like now, and a lot of it... Suck my dick, bitch. Like complete nonsense. Uh, there was contradictions, there's hypocrisy, there's extreme judgment. Christians living essentially like atheists and calling themselves Christians, like it just made no sense to me. So when I discovered that there was this difference with the early church, that really settled me because it, it allowed me to go, okay, well, all of this is nonsense. That's why this is nonsense because it is nonsense, but there is still something here. And if I look hard enough, I can hopefully Fucking find bitch. it. So that's why I really dove into the concept of this early church and like, what does the Bible actually say? What does Jesus actually say, right? If I actually turn off everything that church is telling me that Jesus said, and then I actually look for myself, what did he actually say? What can I learn about this thing called Christianity that may or may not Fucking be bitch. different from this thing that used to be called Christianity? So it seemed to me like Jesus' central teaching re revolved around kind of peace and love. So not only Fucking love bitch. your neighbor as yourself, but also, like, take that further even to love your enemy as yourself. Which was interesting to me because as I looked around, like, I didn't really see any of the Christians I knew even loving their neighbor 
as themselves. Like if you actually think about the implications of what that means, what does it mean to love your neighbor as yourself? Yeah, be a dumbass and take that damn pwn. I, I'll come back dumbass. to that because that is such I'll a I'll ask you a damn rep. I, I could never dumbass. quite resolve what did that mean. Dumbass, bitch. But not only that, but love your enemy as yourself. People join wars and kill their enemies in the name of their country. Well, how do you do that as a Christian? How, how do you kill your enemy while also loving your enemy as yourself? Like, these kind of things really started to add up. And when I saw in the early church that they had answers for these, this was very comforting. So, for example, you fucking the early bitch. Christians wouldn't go to war. They wouldn't join the military. They wouldn't even be in the police or, you know, authority figures like that. In fact, they wouldn't even put themselves you in just positions of power at all. So and they ain't a damn was completely you know about out. It, fucking bitch. And from my research, I discovered that if a, like, say a government official became a Christian, the leaders of the church would write to that person and ask them to resign because you just, it was just understood that you couldn't be a Christian and in the government. So I realize if you're a Christian and you're watching this, this is immediately going to grind with you because people in today's age are so used to the idea that we want Christians in power. We, we want to, like, vote the Bible. We want to create laws that reinforce Christianity. But that's actually not how the early church operated. They wanted nothing to do with it because they realized, let's say you're the president of the United States and you're a Christian. You can't put your heavenly kingdom above the country because if you do that the country will fall somebody will invade you and take it over so you need to put the country first as the leader of the country but then you're not putting you know the kingdom of christ first so there was this idea that you, countries and christianity were contradictory ideas and when i first heard this it was it was such a relief because to me it just didn't make Fuck you, bitch. how so many people they call themselves Christians, and then they go fight on behalf of that country and actually kill other Christians. So you could have two Christians from two countries. Their countries have decided that they are at war. But here's these two Christians that are supposed to be part of a community that supersedes countries, and yet they're killing each other. So the early church had a clear answer to that. There was a complete separation between church and state, and they wanted nothing to do with the state. So another big difference Suck was they met bitch. in houses. They had sort of small, intimate oh, groups, churches. And, you know, depending on where these people Suck lived, could dick, have bitch. been, you know, a lot of these things were in secret because, you know, for a while, you know, the Romans were killing Christians. Uh, Christians were fairly persecuted, so a lot of times it was quite secret. They met. Suck my but dick, even bitch. Still, there was no, like, mega churches with these massive worship bands and worship, essentially concerts, right? It seems like when I look at churches today, what is the point? Like, what is the main focus? The main focus seems to be the music, the concert, the worship, right? The main focus could also be community, like a secondary focus. Like, actually learning things and knowledge and being inquisitive and it seems dick, like a secondary goal when I look at most churches these days. So the early Christians, they called themselves sort of followers of the way. So I think that was one of the first things that they called themselves, followers of the way. And, I mean, it's hard to know these things for sure, but from what I can tell, from what I've read, is that the term Christian, which kind of meant little Christ's, it was almost a term that was given to them by everybody else. And the reason why is because here's a group of people that were living like Christ, living like Jesus. And so they were called like mini Christs. People could see it in them that these people were like Jesus. And being a follower of Jesus was sort of the central on, point of being a Christian back then. And so from what I understand, it wasn't even a term that Christians like to call themselves because it almost sounded like bragging or it sounded like egotistical to be like, I'm a little Christ. Like, I'm, a, I'm, I'm basically doing what Jesus did. So you've got these people that are calling themselves followers. Basically, followers of Jesus is how they saw it. 
And so here's an interesting Fucking point about bitch. this word following. And this is something that really stuck with me. And I couldn't quite equate with today's Morning, Christians. Fucking bitch. So let's say Christianity means follower of Christ. When I asked myself, what does it mean to follow somebody? What does it mean to follow Jesus? I mean, the simplest answer is that you do what he does. So here's Jesus. What? Let's just figure out what he did, and then we'll Son do that, bitch. and then we're following him. And so this issue really bothered me, because when I went Fucking to church, bitch. all my Christian friends, the people that I knew that were Christians, didn't really seem to be doing Suck my what dick, Jesus bitch. did. They seemed to be doing something else. They kind of had this idea of what they should be doing, but to me, it didn't seem like following. Here's a guy who basically was homeless, traveled around, and spoke to people, loved people, hung out with kind Suck of the scum of society. Bitch. A lot of times he hung out with like the tax collectors and like the the prostitutes and he didn't care what anybody thought about him that's really clear he didn't seem to care about authority or pleasing the authorities of the day like the pharisees and the religious leaders of that time Suck the religious my leaders of that bitch. time in fact really didn't like him they thought and, you know which makes sense because in the end they actually killed him Suck my dick bitch but the point is, is that Jesus was a very countercultural figure that centered around loving people, helping people, comforting the lost, Suck comforting the vulnerable. And when I would look at church in today, today's age, I don't really see people doing that very much. Suck in fact, what I do see is I see people putting on concerts. And when I would ask... Like, wh why is this the point of church? Suck why my is dick, singing the, these songs the point of church? There was never really a clear answer. It, it bothered me. So this, this went on for a Suck number of years. Dick, where I was trying to reconcile this problem. The difference between a follower of Christ and what I was seeing. Until one day it kind of clicked. And I realized that Christianity had been redefined. Suck my dick, bitch. So in the old days it was a follower of Christ. The early Suck church. my dick, bitch. Today... At least from my opinion. I haven't heard this from anywhere else. This was sort of my own epiphany that I had. That a Christian has been redefined from follower of Christ to worshiper of Christ. And this is a really convenient thing. Oh, just because if you're a us. worshiper, you can go to church on Sunday. You can do your worship. Bitch, suck my dick, bitch. You can go home and you can live like an atheist the rest of the week. You don't have to do any following. You don't have to do what Jesus did. You don't have to follow his teachings. I mean, sure, is it nice to do that? And are you bitch. encouraged to do that? Yes. But you don't have to to satisfy the definition of a Christian. So once I kind of realized that, that Christianity had been kind of redefined into this Christ worshiper, and there was really no growth required, really all you had to do was believe this little nugget of information, what? That Jesus came to die for your sins. As long as you believed that and then did your worship, you went there on Sunday morning, you know, you scrunched your eyes up, you like summon this like, Suck my guilt, dick, bitch. you summon this worthlessness, you kind of put it on yourself for a minute, Fucking then you, bitch. you kind of project it up Suck my to dick, God bitch. and you say, please, you know, forgive me of this sin and forgive me of my filth. I'm such a lousy person. Um, I just really started to notice this pattern, especially through the leaders of the churches. There was this summoning of shame, guilt, and Suck my constantly. dick, bitch. And yet, when I read in the Bible, Fucking it didn't bitch. really seem like that was the point, to constantly revisit this thing every week where you summon the worthlessness all over again. You ask for forgiveness. You, you know, admit how broken you are. Suck my dick, bitch. And when I fully realized this, I remember one day, I was sitting in church, and here comes the soft music at the end. Suck my dick, The pastor, bitch. he starts scrunching up his eyes and praying and summoning that worthlessness all over again. And I just sat there with my eyes open, and I looked around, and I saw all these people Suck my dick, sitting bitch. in these pews chairs doing absolutely nothing useful 
all summoning their worthlessness all at once. There's a thousand people in this church. Fucking bitch. And I started to think, what what would happen if instead of sitting here, scrunching up our eyes, you know, asking for forgiveness again, suck my dick. We bitch. all went out and did something useful for a change, rather than sit here. And like indulge this pastor who has a four-year degree. He doesn't know the answer. Suck my he doesn't dick, know any I have a four-year degree. It doesn't make me an expert. What if we all went and did something we'll useful? Play, we'll play patty cakes, patty cakes on that long. Like standing up and seeing everybody in that church. People, stop it. Like stop. Doing this every single week. If you truly believe, and then you trust that you are forgiven, and now go and do some following for a change. Find somebody to help. Let's go do a project. Let's dick, go clean bitch. something up. There's homeless people all over the place. Why don't we do something for them? You know, these these homeless people. They're not. They're 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 bankrupt in relationships. Bitch. People bitch, treat suck them my so dick, bitch. poorly. Why don't we just go sit and talk? With Fucking whole, bitch. Today, there's a thousand of us. You know, imagine. There's like, that, like if we all did an hour. That's bitch, a thousand hours dick, of work. Fucking bitch. And I never, I never went back after that point. In fact, my wife, Fucking she would bitch. take my daughter to Sunday school. I wouldn't. I, I remember bitch. I tried to go back one more time, and I'm sitting there and I'm listening to the pastor. It just didn't make sense what he was saying. I, from all my research, it wasn't Christianity. It was something else. He bitch, was suck my dick. about something else. Fucking I just couldn't bitch. go in the church anymore. So all this being said, I still at my core believe that Christianity bitch. was salvageable. I just thought that what the church had become was sort of like this monster. It was like this Frankenstein that had grown out of Fucking what Christianity bitch. used to be. And... It's interesting. If you actually look at history, all those things I was talking about with regards to you couldn't be in the military, you couldn't be in like the police, you couldn't be you know, even in the government. All that bitch suck my dick, until bitch, Constantine. So bitch. he was an emperor of Rome. And he fucking converted bitch. to Christianity. So he was the first emperor. And this fundamental shift happened fucking in Christianity bitch. with Constantine. Because obviously he's the emperor of Rome. He's not going to bitch. resign and become a regular guy just so he can become a uh, Christian. And it was at that point that Christianity was kind of rewritten. Sort of when that Holy Roman Empire kind of came out of that. This idea that you could be a Jesus and still like slay your enemy, you could take over countries, all in the name of Jesus. And this, you know, went on for, uh, I don't know, 1,000, 1,500 years, right? Until you get to like the Holy Wars. Fucking bitch. You've got... Literally, you've got Christians. Boom. Donkey Kong. You're going to lose one of those pieces. You're going to lose one of those pieces. There's no way you can Fucking make a bitch. case. I mean, I guess there is something called just war theory. There's people that debate. Is just war theory valid? You fucking and bitch. I really dove into that. And at first I was like, well, man, you can make a case. Man, I but fucked up. Man, I could have... Man, I just and fucked less up. Credible to me that, fucking that you could bitch. even make a case that you could... Fucking bitch. ...justify war in the name of Jesus. You mean, if you look back in the Middle Ages, you had Christians torturing people well, into converting. Bitch. So it's like, well, you're not a Christian. I don't want to kill bitch. you because then you're going to hell. I'm going to convert you first and I'm going to kill you. Uh, now I'm you black hands were stolen. They literally did that. You know, all that stuff with burning people at the stake and, you know, killing witches. And it was... Our Christianity today comes out of that. And I think a lot of people don't want to admit that. Like the Protestant Reformation, if you actually look at sort of the key figures in that, um, you know, you had the Anabaptists. And the Anabaptists well, were some bitch. of the first Take ones the that decided that you shouldn't be baptized bitch. as a child. That you should baptize your set. You should fucking get baptized bitch. when you're older when you can make the decision. Wow, this girl's and got like some spit arms in the hair. Out of just a, such a simple thing. Speed. The Protestants were killing the Anabaptists. The Catholics were killing the Anabaptists. In fact, they would kill them Speed. with something they would call the third baptism. You 
know, because the people Man, she's were got baptized some spit arms. And then the Anabaptists were baptizing themselves again. And so they would kill you the Anabaptists the third baptism. Bitch, suck my dick. Drown them in rivers. Fucking so here bitch. you've got Christians killing other Christians in the name of Jesus. Yeah, you should have taken that my damn nice. It's essentially. Fucking bitch. You know, like, you know, John Calvin. Fucking bitch. Calvinism and how that came about. And you've actually look at what that so, guy Damn, I could have taken his bruh, bitch, my... Not, man, I didn't take... I need, damn, I need to pay motherfucking attention. Of, of that guy. That's funny. When I actually yeah, looked at the history stupid, of it, it just fucking almost... I'm a bitch. Well, it was embarrassing, but it, it became shit. disgusting to me. I, I just... Fucking bitch. I couldn't believe... Well, I can still ask him up. okay following the theology of these things. He, his bitch is still in danger. Out of all fucking that. bitch. Bloodshed, murder. You fucking bitch. A complete. Uh, I mean, if anything, it was the opposite of Christianity. Here you have a person that was all about peace, love, enemy love. And then it came full circle on, at this point where it was bitch. like, kill anything that doesn't agree with you. Fucking bitch. And so I started to really identify with those Anabaptists. So the Anabaptists eventually became the Mennonites. Come on, you fucking die. bitch. Fucking bitch. Fucking bitch. Come on, you fucking bitch. You fucking piece of shit. Fucking bitch. Suck my slut. Suck my slut, bitch. Fucking slut. Now be a dumbass and take that damn pawn and do a pawn. I'll ask you after your damn rip, fucking bitch. Stupid fucking bitch. No, you stupid fucking bitch. Come on, you stupid fucking bitch. Now be a dumbass and do that damn bitch right here if I can eat your rip, you fucking bitch. Hey! You fucking bitch. Mm, just ask it. Just ear your words, you stupid bitch. Fucking bitch. Stupid. Stupid. That was stupid as shit. Alright, fuck this. Oh! Man, that guy was plain stupid. Fucking bitch. Fucking bitch. Fucking bitch. And I'll shit if I want to. And I'll shit if I want to. This this is my toy, and I'll shit if I want to, and I'll shit if I want to, and I'll shit if I want to. This, this is my, this is my toy. This is my toy. Fucking bitch. Fucking yeah, bitch. Fucking bitch.
Disco. Disco. Fucking bitch. Come on, you dumbass. Overlook this move so I can ass up ear your rook. Fucking bitch. All right, terrible. Speed. Paying attention. Fuck it. I could have ear hit. I could have taken a free pitch. That pisses me off. Fucking shit pissing me off. You're trying to fucking mess. You suck my dick, bitch. Fucking bitch. Suck my dick, bitch. Fucking bitch. Suck my dick, you fucking bitch. Fucking bitch. Fucking bitch. You, you fucking bitch. Suck my dick, bitch. Suck my dick, bitch. Fucking bitch. Fucking bitch. Fucking bitch. Fuck. Fucking bitch. Fucking bitch. Fucking bitch. Damn, I was hoping you, I, I wanted to move my knight there to, to ear, uh, split your fucking bitch with the king, bitch. This pit. The spit, spit, spit. Okay, I'm gonna ask up that damn pony. Maybe. Bitch, suck my dick, bitch. Bitch, suck my dick, bitch. Fucking bitch. Come on, you fucking. 
fucking bitch. Fucking bitch. Come on, you fucking bitch. Suck my dick, bitch. Suck my dick, bitch. I'm going to fuck your hole, bitch. Fucking bitch. Everything for Bitch, bitch, suck my dick, bitch. Fucking bitch. Suck my dick, bitch. Fucking bitch. Oozy spit. Oh no. Hell no. Oh fuck. I fucked up. Fucking bitch. Come on, you fucking bitch. I'm 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 about to get another no whore. Fucking bitch. Come on, you fucking bitch. You bitch. You fucking bitch. What did your ass? Fucking bitch. Fuck my 
dick, bitch. Suck my dick, bitch.
God fucking damn it. Suck my dick, you fucking bitch. Suck my dick, you fucking bitch. Fucking bitch. Fucking bitch. Fucking bitch. Suck my dick, bitch.
Come on, fucking bitch. Fucking bitch. Suck my dick, fucking bitch.
Fucking bitch. Fucking bitch. Come on, you fucking bitch. You spit. You spit, spit, spit. Stupid. Don't even think about it. Fucking bitch. Ew, fucking you. Suck my dick, bitch. I fuck this. Holy fucking bitch. This pit. You stupid fucking bitch. Stupid fucking bitch. I'd be a dumbass in that damn. Slut, you fucking slut. Come on, bitch. Can't can you can't you feel the magic? Oh, I just fucked up. Fucking bitch. Man, I've, I've brought you out, bitch. Suck my dick, bitch. That damn whore out of the way. Man, I fucked up. Fucking bitch. Fucking bitch. Suck my dick, bitch. I'd be a duck, yeah. Ooh! You, you stupid fucker. Now you're gonna lose your whore. Fucking bitch. Suck my dick, bitch. Oh, you're gonna sandbag, aren't you? Fucking bitch.
stupid. Man, you're a stupid son of a bitch. Stupid son of a bitch. Oh, dead. Fucking bitch. Stupid bitch. I got one word of advice for you. Resign. Fucking bitch. Wow, here's some spit arms. Ooh, 
Rosie Spit. Rosie Spit. Rosie Spit. Rosie Spit. This pit. Fucking bitch. I know you. I really wanna show you the way I see. Fucking bitch. I really wanna know you. I really wanna show you the way. You fucking bitch. Something that you tell me. We're coming from the very same. Fucking bitch. Oh, here comes the slaughter of the bitches in the night. Oh, here comes the slaughter of the bitches in the night. Oh, the first ones to get peed out and slaughtered. That was stupid as hell. Stupid. Stupid fucking bitch. Yeah. 
<laughs> Don't even think about it. Stupid bitch. Fucking bitch. Fucking bitch. Fucking bitch. Now I've immobilized your bishop. Now I've immobilized your bishop. I didn't say bishop, I said bitch shit. You understand me? Fucking bitch. One of those pieces is going bye bye. And there ain't that damn thing you can do about it. You stupid bitch. <laughs> Up his palms. I really wanna show you the way I feel. I really wanna know, know, know you. I really wanna show, show, show you. I really wanna know. Outside her. By Kale. Fucking bitch. March! I'm just gonna get another whore. Fucking bitch. And there ain't a damn thing you knew about it. Suck my dick, bitch. That's two whores I got. I got one little advice for you. Resign, just like that. I fuck this. Oh! Fucking bitch.
So now 